Hi there everyone, this is Jennifer Biederman from Biederman Jewelry. Welcome back to another tutorial. Um, back to doing a bit of uh, wire work here. As you can see, I'm starting a project today and I wanted to share it with you. I didn't finish it yet, but since I've been, I've been making these two uh, pieces, I patinaed one and I left one natural so you can see. And uh, I'm, you know what? I usually make uh, wire wrap pendants and cuff bracelets and earrings and I because I like to do a lot of wire weaving but I don't know what's happening with me I'm doing a lot of I'm I'm going crazy with links so um, usually what I do this is the type of things I make I make these you know free form uh, wire weave pendants um, what you know I make a uh, wire weave like this the like cabochon um, I do a lot of uh, bead embroidery here. I did this one too. So with all these pendants, I wanted to make, rather than put these pendants on a boring chain, which is fine to let this the your pendant stand out, I wanted to put some effort into making a necklace. So I took out some of my pendants and um, I usually have them on a leather cord or something. But what I wanted to do was make these links and then attach a pendant here. I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet, but probably this one because I'm using pink. But in any case, we are going to do these links. Yes, I'm in a link phase. Um, so these are the materials you're going to need to make these links. You will need 16 gauge this is all dead soft wire, by the way. You're gonna need 16 gauge dead soft wire to make your jump rings, these rings here. If you don't wanna make your jump rings, then uh, the, the size that I made these are 12 millimeter outside diameter. Uh, you're also gonna need 18 gauge wire, 26 gauge wire for these uh, wrapped pieces here. You can also use 28 gauge, but that's gonna be a little small. So I'm using 26 gauge for my rounds. I'm using eight millimeter rounds and uh, some tools that you're going to need is the usual, you know, your pliers, um, some nylon pliers, uh, your round nose pliers. You'll need um, jump ring maker here. If you don't have that, use a pencil or something or the size that you want. Um, I am using a, um, a bench, well, not a bench block, but a hammer block here and my hammer. And why I'm using that is I always hammer my jump rings to make them smaller. So as you can see, I, this piece that I completed, I hammered my jump rings. This one, I didn't do it yet. So get your materials together and we are going to start making these fun, very interesting links. See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. So we're going to get ready to start our coils. I cut myself a piece of five feet, five feet of the 26 gauge. I'm going to be coiling five inches, five inches and a quarter approximately. And a five inches and a quarter uh, coils is going to make a, um, just a second here. It's going to make the actual coiled piece an inch and a quarter. Okay. So if you want to make them longer, adjust your coils. So I'm using this piece. This is actually meant for a, um, to coil, to coil fast. I'm supposed to put on a thing and start turning it, but since I'm so lazy to put it together, um, and by the time I actually put it together, I'll have my five inches coiled. So I said, forget it. So what I'm going to do, this piece here is actually at the size probably of a 16 gauge or even a 14 gauge, no closer to 16 gauge. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do this fast. You ha have yourself a tail, put it on the outside here and just start coiling. Coil doesn't have to be uh, completely perfect and uh, close together as you're coiling. Coil as much as you can and like this. And then when I'm at this point, I'm going to grab my nylon pliers 
and I'm just going to push them together. And if you have nails, strong nails, you can just push them together like that. So I'm just going to continue that five inches long. Now, I do recommend that you cut your wire off the spool because if you don't, then uh, the wire will start kinking because as you're holding it, it's, it's twisting the wire on the coil. And if it starts to kink, it makes the wire very uh, brittle and it will break. Uh, so we'll just be careful of that. And... doing that for five inches all right so I'm going to continue on my piece until I get five and a quarter inches would have been nice to say five inches but the first coil I made I wanted them all to be the same length so this goes quite quickly actually I usually have my husband put my uh, tools together and stuff because I don't have patience for that. But he's napping, so. It's actually quite fun to do because it's like meditation. You don't have to think about anything. Okay, so let me get my five inches done and I'll meet you back uh, so to I show you I finished my five and a quarter piece inches and just to make double check. Yeah, five and a quarter. Okay, I've already cut my little pieces off here. I've cut my piece off here and now I'm just gonna pull it off this piece. Gently just pull it off. It's a little bit tight, but just, you know, gently take it off here. And here you have your coiled piece. Now, here comes in the 18 gauge. I've cut a piece of 14 inch. I'm going to slide my coiled piece onto my 18 gauge like this. I'm gonna take my piece again, and now I'm gonna coil this one around. Now, to do this gently, Okay, because you don't want to misshape, and misshape this thing. You're going to hang on to your tail here, a little long piece, a long enough piece, and you're going to gently grab the end over here, push your coil piece not too tight, and start coiling around. Now, don't worry, just, it doesn't have to, it's all going to go into place. So just coil around your piece. Like this. We're going to adjust it after. Coil around until you're at the end. Okay, now you see this piece sticking out, it's a little bit bigger here, don't worry, we're going to start moving this around to adjust everything. Okay, now I'm going to start moving these pieces around, maybe loosening it over here so that it's all the same size. Now that I've done that, I am going to take this piece of 18 gauge and continue coiling around three times. That's it. Go over on this side. Now this has got all coiled. I'm just gonna uncoil it so that I can get the same effect on this side. One, two, three. Okay, there's your piece. 
Now you're going to take your cutters. I can find my cutters. Okay. You will cut close to there and just cut that off. Discard that piece. Cut this piece off. Now, you didn't need 14 inches, but you do need it because you need something to hang on to. Now, these pieces are sticking out, so I'm going to grab my chain nose pliers. I am going to push this down a little bit, and I'm going to start pushing that in so it's close. Nothing is sticking out, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Okay. Now that's done, I'm going to pop that off. It's not fun to make. It doesn't even take long at all. Okay, now you're going to take another piece of 18 gauge. And this piece, let me just cut off a piece here. Just cutting off a length. I'm going to, and just so you can see how much I cut. Here's my piece probably about six inches, okay? And what I'm gonna do first is, now I take that off, I'm gonna take my round nose pliers and I'm gonna create a loop. So I'm gonna go down a little bit and I'm just gonna make a bend, okay? Then I'm gonna go about the middle of my, or a little bit more than the middle of my chain nose and I'm gonna hold it like this and I'm gonna make my loop. So just turn it around, just like this. And then I'm just gonna coil around this twice. You can take a pair of pliers and do it, but... Actually, I'm gonna grab a pair of pliers. And you're gonna coil it around so it's nice and tight. Cut that piece off. Grab your pliers and push that piece in. Okay, there you have it. Now I'm going to take my eight millimeter rounds. Now if the beads you're using don't fit on Actually, the bead that you're going to choose, make sure that it fits on here before you choose them because then you're going to be like upset and have to choose something else. Um, if it doesn't fit on your 18 gauge, use a 20 gauge. Okay, now we're down here. Now, I'm going to put my piece that I just made on. I'm going to grab another round put it on the end okay now I don't need a lot of room here so where do you so you know where to bend it just go ahead and bend it right there like that okay take your chain nose the same spot because you want the loops the same size and do the same thing. Grab your piece, grab your pliers, and coil. Coil until there isn't any more room, but it should be about two or three times. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Until you fill that spot. Okay, take your cutters, cut that piece. And push that in. Now, if your ends don't meet up, like for example, if this side is like this and this side is like that take your pliers grab your other end and just twist there's your link
So that's it, really. I mean, when you make your jump rings, the um, I have another tutorial showing you how to do jump rings. Um, I have them right here, sorry. To make these jump rings here, um, just open it up, put this one on, then I'm going to put this one on here, close it up. So now I have my three links. So continue as long as you want your necklace. This won't work as a bracelet, by the way, because look, it's, it's here. It looks funny. It doesn't fit at all, but you'd have to make these uh, smaller. So continue on as long as you want this. I'm the type of person who loves like a choker type of uh, necklaces. So I'm not, mine's not going to be that long. And then I'm going to choose my um, uh, pendant to put on until it's done. And it's really going to be an interesting necklace. I promise you, if you wear this, people will stop and stare at your neck. And they'll say, where did you get that? And then you can say, I made it. And they'll be completely amazed. Now, before we continue, I completely forgot to show you something. Let me zoom back in. This is optional, okay? Um, see over here, I have like a little decorative uh, wire in the middle. And I have it here. Optional. This is you're going to be your 22 gauge. And you will go in your piece here. Let me just take this off my jump ring. And okay. So where you're going to start is right here. You're just going to place it there. Keep yourself a little bit of a tail. Don't push that in the, um, what do you call it, that little space there because then it'll get lost in the space. And you're just going to gently, gently turn it around until you've completed the space. See, just like that, just like it's you're just setting it on top, and then turn maybe if you want to turn it, it'll be a little bit easier. Have your thumb guide it again, optional, but it gives it a nice little end touch. So Now, that sound that you hear in the background is my husband getting candy out of the cupboard. And he, he knows it's not supposed to come upstairs when I'm doing a video. <laughs> but he needs his candy fix. Okay, so you just cut that off. And he's making noise with the candy bag. Okay. Cut this piece off and push that in. So that makes a nice little decorative look to it. And when you age it, it's really going to stand out. So continue your pieces as long as you want your necklace. And then I'm going to show you how to do a clasp to end the necklace. And I'll see you back. Okay, now in we're day. ready to do our clasp. I have cut a little piece here about five inches. And I made my loop just like we've been doing. And I'm going to take my uh, bail maker here just to make my uh, little loop here. I'm going to set it right in there like this. And to get a very good circle I'm just going to bend it down like that so that I have this and right over here I'm just going to take my cutters and I'm going to cut right about here and 
And then I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to make a little decorative loop right here. Okay. Now what I, it looks a little funny now, but what I want to do is I'm going to just bend it like this. Bend it like that. And I'm going to push this in. I'm going to bend it a little bit more and push that in. Now, what I'm going to do to make this stronger is I am going to hammer this, okay? You're going to take your hammer block and you're just going to hammer the piece. So that it's nice and strong. And as you hammer it, it's going to open up again. So you're just going to close that up again. And then you will take your necklace piece, your last jump ring. You will put that on there. And here you have it. It's done. Now, this is great because you can alternate your um, pendants on this uh, necklace. And let me just... Uh, Go out a little bit. So here's your necklace. I am going to age this and uh, I am going to put a pendant right here. So if I put this pendant, I'm just going to take this jump ring, put my pendant on there. Once I've done uh, aging it, of course, and I have my pendant and I can interchange my pendants if I want. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I have uh, done a lot of link bracelets and um, now this necklace, and I think I'm going to be moving on to showing you how to wire weave some pendants, and I'm going to be showing you how to do clasps for some cuff bracelets. So if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment if you have any questions. And I will have a uh, tutorial available for download um, with pictures and written instructions. It's always good to have uh, tutorials um, printed out and filed away because if you can't find the uh, video again, it's nice to have the uh, tutorial. I do that a lot. I download a lot of tutorials. So Thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon. Have a great day.